I've got a big pile of images that have things wrong with them. I've got 20 images in about 40 minutes. So that means if we can fix 20 images in 40 minutes, we're spending an average of two minutes per image. Wouldn't that be really good from a billing standpoint if we could fix them that quickly? So let's try that approach. I'm going to go ahead here. I'll just open up this first row. Let's jump in. OK. So the first one we're going to talk about is the very simple levels adjustment. Let's go ahead and just clean up the user interface here. Window, workspace, default. Good. And this image looks OK, but this is how it started. All right? The levels adjustment is really the most universal adjustment that you can run. And sure, all of these adjustments can be accessed under the adjustments menu, but I want you to guide towards the layer, new adjustment layer, levels. And here we can make new adjustment layers. So the levels dialog box opens. And look at the histogram here. This is explaining what's going on in the image. Think of this as a distribution chart. Right now, the image looks really dark. That's because all of our white detail is right here. But if I pull the white slider over to where that mountain range starts to rise, you see how the white point is fixed? And then if we grab the middle slider, think of this as a teeter-totter. We can go ahead and adjust this here by pulling the slider left or right, and that will actually open up the image and make it brighter. Okay? So we can go ahead and make that adjustment by sliding the slider left or right and open up the image. Now, while we're here, if you don't have a good white point, you can just take the eyedropper for white and click on something that's supposed to be white. And you'll notice that it actually fixed the white point as well. If it's too strong, you just go ahead and back that down a little bit by adjusting the output layer. And there you go, before to after. See, a nice quick fix that fixed the image. Let's take a look at our next photo. And I'm going to do another levels adjustment here. And we'll add that adjustment layer for levels. Now, one of the things you can do is down here at the bottom corner of the layers palette, you can click on this little black and white symbol and pick your adjustment layers. And what I like about this is it doesn't bring up that annoying dialog box. It just instantly goes right to the adjustment layer without asking you. So same sort of thing here. We can go ahead and open up the middle. And that kind of works. We pull it this way. But it's not quite right. See, it's not quite there. It's better before and after, but it's a bit much. So what I want you to do is look at the individual channels for red, green, and blue. And you see how all of these channels are very bottom heavy over here? So we'll do this on a per channel basis. I pull this white point in and the black point in to the edges of the mountain range. You see where they start to rise there? That's where you pull them. And then just move this middle slider to balance it out. Go to the next channel, green. Pull this in. And then move the middle slider to balance it out. And then go to the blue channel. Pull it in to the edge of the range. And move the middle slider to balance it out. And what we just did there is we fixed the color problem. And now we can just grab the middle slider and open up the image a little bit more. Notice how we can see things, but it's washed out. So if I pull the black slider in, that'll put a little bit of contrast back in. Now, after doing an adjustment like that, you're almost always going to need to follow it up with a hue saturation adjustment layer to put a little bit of the saturation back in to fill the image back in so it looks natural. So this is where we started. This is where we ended up. It's not a great picture, but if it was a special moment and one you were trying to capture, you can use that to bring it back. My point here is often if you have a really dark image and you lighten it, 
you're going to need to put a little bit of saturation back in as a one-two punch to fill it back in so it looks good. All right? Let's go ahead and close that and go on to our next image here. And this is curves. Curves are more precise than levels, but not as easy. You will either love curves or hate curves. I'm going to show you one way to make curves easier, though. So first off, work with curves as an adjustment layer. And a lot of people don't know where to add control points. You say, you know, I want to enhance this image. Well, what they don't realize is if you command click here, look, it added a control point right there for me. On a PC user, that's a control click. So I clicked on the body of the bird, and I'll click on this highlight. And see what I just did there? I added two control points. So let's go ahead and make the shadow, the areas here of the body of the bird a little brighter. And let's pull this one down and make the highlights a little darker. See? So you can use that to quickly access control points. And everywhere you command click in the image will add a control point. So that makes it a little bit easier to enhance your images if you need to.